Hey, this is Eric with Program with Eric.com, and today we're going to talk about Aurelia again, and we're going to talk about configuring your Aurelia application during boot up, during startup. So if we go back to our application that we've been working on, on our Hello World application, we can see if we look and we start it up, let's go ahead and start it up, and we'll load it real quickly. We can see here debug, it's loading the plugins, and the application loads. And we just have this really simple application. And you can notice that you see these debug messages. And it loaded everything for us that we need. And in our application, if we stop it here, we have this index.html. And inside the index.html, we have this body, called, and we have this Aureli app. And then we have this system import of the Aurelia bootstrapper. But at that point, as soon as the application loads, it as by default, it loads everything in the app.html and app.js file. So this is essentially what becomes our application and our view in a view model. But there are times that we want to configure the application before it boots, or we want to change the defaults of it. So what we can do is we can go into go into the index.html and from this body Aureli app we can configure a main this is completely uh, this is completely optional by default everything will load by convention everything will load by app.js and app.html and the standard configuration will load but let's say we wanted to overwrite that so we go Aurelia app dash app to main here and then inside the source folder we create a main.js file just kind of like you would in a C program you would create or many other different programming languages out there you create a main so inside here we can configure exactly how we want to use our program and the way we do that is I'll go ahead and copy and paste a real simple function here so this configure is how the application the early application is configured and created and by default, if you really wanted something simple, you can run the standard configuration. And this Aurelia used as a part of the uh, Aurelia or framework configuration class. So you, what you do is you define the configure function here. And then you can define multiple different ways of using it. And there's things like default binding languages, history, router. If you do standard configuration, you get all that, but it, we can certainly, if we wanted to, and you'd have to look in the official documentation of all these different ones, but if we didn't want to use standard configuration, we can do, we can put, we can specifically tell what's available to Aurelia, so we can do default binding language, and, you know, history, and router an event aggregator and we can even if we wanted to and there's specific times you want to do this you would set the global resources so let's say you have a component that you want to use everywhere in your application and you don't want to have to use the require in every everywhere you're at so you can put in something like this global resources and wherever it is my component and now you won't have to import this everywhere inside your application. So that's just a few things we can do. But let's just stick with the standard configuration and make sure that works. So this tells Aurelia here that we're going to use the standard configuration that includes the router, the history, the default binding, the default resources, kind of all the pieces that make a part of the Aurelia application that's going to be in there. And we're going to leave the development logging in. That seems to be on by default, even if you don't configure create your own main.js file but we'll leave it on this aurelia.start just tells it when the when the this returns a promise and that's when the applications created this aurelia set root is where you set which files it loads and by default it's the app.js and app.html view and view models but let's just make sure this works So we'll go ahead and start the server. 
You see our debugs loading. Great, everything loaded, just as we expected. But this time, we are grabbing it from the main, um, and we configured it. So everything's working as we expect. So let's say we wanted to change the editing, or if we wanted to change the logging. So we can go main.js here, and we can add in two log managers. And you can actually create your own log managers if you really wanted to. And then we can create this log manager, add appender, and set level. And what this tells us is that we're going to have a new console appender, a new logger. It's going to log on the console, and it's going to be in level debug. And we can actually change that. So let's say we didn't want debug, we wanted just info. We'll change it to info. We'll restart our server. And as, you, as it loads, you'll notice that we have two of each because now we have the debug and info loading. So let's change it one thing here. Let's go back into the source main.js file and let's get rid of the de development logging since we're using this logging, we're setting the logging level I should say. And we'll restart it. Okay, now it's working correctly. Now you see only info logging. We no longer see the debug logging that we saw before that's just defaulted. So that's good to know that we can do that. And we'll do one more example here of how we can change the configuration and change the conventions of the program. So let's edit the source main.js one more time. So now we have just info logging on instead of debug logging on, which seems to be the default. So if we want to go a really set route here, when this gets invoked, or when this promise returns, this dot then, which is a promise, instead of loading the app.js and app.html files, we can specify whatever we want here. So let's just call it uh, Eric, which is not the greatest name, but it's my name, so I'll, I'll pick it. So now if we load it, we're going to get an error. By the way, we have, we have info logging on, so we will still get an error. So we see the error here. So it's not found. So we can go back into the source and we'll move the app.js to eric.js and we'll move the app.html to eric.html. We won't, we won't make any other changes. And now we'll start the server again. And we'll refresh. Our info logging's on, not a debug. Great, the application loaded. So now instead of loading in the app.js and app.html, those are the view and view models. Now we're loading Eric, which is exactly as we expected. So I hope that gives you just a quick guide on how to set up your application. Uh, really, when you're starting out, you probably won't have to create your main.js, but it's good to know that's how you do it. You're definitely going to have to, as you're Aurelia applications grows, you're going to have to go in here and do some things. Like I said, the global resources might be something you want to do if you may not want to load everything in the standard configuration. Um, so you can specify exactly what you're going to load and that'll help out as well. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, also, I have a free Aurelia cheat sheet. If you sign up for my mailing list, just click in the link below in the description. You can sign up for it and you can learn a lot more about Aurelia. I send out weekly emails about blog articles and videos that I create. Thank you.